Kim Kardashian just shared that she's loving Bridgerton just as much as the rest of us. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have got to talk about Kim K's thoughts on Bridgerton, but before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring and I'm joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. Mariah, we're fans of Bridgerton here, right? I mean, you've watched it, you love it, you're on board. Oh my gosh, yeah, and I'm actually, I don't know if, yes, I'm happy that she's finally like partaking in everything that we've all really enjoyed uh, when Bridgerton first came out, or if I'm annoyed that it's taken her so long because I'm like, girl, you should have joined this party a long time ago, but I mean, I guess she's been busy, so I'll give her a little bit of slack. I know, it really does feel like this has been such a fan moment for such a long time. Like, all of us have been obsessed, we have already been begging for season two, and for once, Kim is the one that needs to keep up, uh, but she got there. She caught up. 82 million households have binged Netflix's Bridgerton by now, so apparently Kim has hopped on board. She has joined the gang. She was, of course, late to the party, all things considered, but I kind of forgive her because she shared her journey of, you know, watching it, reacting to it with fans on her social media over the weekend. <laughs> So far, based on what she shared, it looks like she's maybe only watched the first four episodes. So she's not even done yet, but she did write, it's finally happening, uh, sharing a post, you know, a photo of Simon and Daphne. She then shared another photo of them dancing, writing, I am not okay. I mean, these are just reactions that I feel like went through all of our minds. Because here's why I think Bridgerton is such a great show. It truly just pulls you into the world, right? By the end of episode one, you're like, hmm, what's going on? Do I like this? Where am I? And then literally just like that, you are fully immersed. You're obsessed with the costumes. You want to start talking like them. I mean, it's an experience to watch it. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm kind of surprised and proud of her for not already finishing the entire season because it only took me like a day and a half and I hate to admit that, <laughs> but you just dive in and you become so obsessed with it and just, um, you love everything about it. I loved everything about it. And as soon as it was over, I was like, why did I do that to myself? I didn't even stretch it out and now it's over and who knows if we'll even get season two, which luckily we are. But yeah, I mean, round of applause for her for being able to take it slow and steady to just enjoy the entire series. I know. And Kim, so she watched the show during her girls night with Stephanie Shepard and Tracy Romulus. And, you know, mm -hmm. of course, they had some wine involved, obviously, but I watched Bridgerton totally solo on my own, like in bed, just watched the whole thing, totally like you, binged through it super fast. So I now feel like, oh my God, what the perfect show to like watch with your girlfriends, pause, yeah. talk, you know, predict things. What a fun viewing experience. She shared some more of their reactions throughout the night, writing, what is happening? Uh, she added to another post, I am not crying. Uh, it really just like struck me because we all want to relate to the Kardashians in some way, shape or form. And I had these exact thoughts while watching certain moments would find myself tearing up and be like, what is going on? Other moments you are just head over heels in love. I mean, this is Kim being probably peak relatable right now. Oh yeah, which is really refreshing because she owns so many businesses. She's so incredibly successful. She is a full-time mother. Uh, she literally does it all. And it's nice to see that someone who has so much on her plate takes time to just enjoy the simple things in life, like a highly raved about Netflix TV show. Cause I'm like, okay, well, I may not be like a multi, multi-millionaire, but but I mean, Kim K can watch this show, then so can I. So it kind of gives me <laughs> a pass to enjoy when a good series um, is presented to us. And I mean, at least that's how I'm justifying it. If Kim K can enjoy it, then I can take time to enjoy it. <laughs> I love it. Right. Of all the, I mean, she's a busy woman, that's for sure. So if she's going to take time to watch this show out of all of them, then we're in good mm -hmm. company. Uh, mm -hmm. You guys, there is a moment in the fourth episode that. If you've seen the show, I'm sure you know exactly where I'm going with, but if you're late to the party, you know, just like Kim, you haven't gotten there yet, a little spoiler alert for you guys, we are going to talk about, you know, a pivotal moment, let's just say, in the show, that is, of course, uh, their long-awaited kiss that finally happens between Daphne and Simon in the fourth episode. 
Kim literally like live reacted to this in a video. She said kiss her and then literally all of the girls squealed when it happened. I have to say I watched this like I don't even think it took me a day and a half for it. I watched this I'm pretty sure straight through <laughs> just hours on end for a day and I felt the exact same energy like it's only four episodes in but waiting mm -hmm. for this moment the anticipation it is killer well it just gets so built up right and he, the duke is so so good looking i mean nobody can deny that so i'm sure like anybody kim included apparently is watching and they're just like i just want to see some action between this beautiful man <laughs> and this beautiful girl like i need something so the kiss was a very highly anticipated moment, one that we were all waiting for. But if you think about it, compared to like how other series kind of play out, the fourth episode is pretty early, but I just feel like how the episode or how the show was set up and the characters, we were like just waiting for that kiss, at least by episode two, like it was driving me crazy. So I love that I wasn't alone in that. And Kim also felt the same way. Yeah, literally, you're so right. It, it, compared to how long like will they won't they arcs can take in other series and picturing like new girl like other shows like this kiss came relatively quickly. But it just goes yeah. to show how good of a job they did that all of us literally by episode four are dying for it. Obviously, I think it goes without saying the season really takes a turn, heats up, there's a lot of action on the screen, you know, from this moment onward. Again, if you watched it, you know what I'm talking about. If not, you gotta go watch it ASAP. It does look like Kim may have a few more episodes to go. Uh, so hoping she has another moment to sit down and binge the rest of it soon. She stopped sharing her reactions with us. Uh, at episode four, and let's just say there is plenty more to react to, so I'm assuming she would have had some thoughts if she had been able to keep going. Obviously, Kim, once she wraps up the season, I'm sure will feel just like the rest of us, dying for more episodes. The minute I finished season one, I was like, okay, great. Where season two? Give me more episodes yeah. right now. I cannot wait a minute. Uh, and the good news is, as we said, season two is on its way. The next string of episodes are going to focus on Daphne's older brother, Anthony Bridgerton, played by Jonathan Bailey. So it's his turn, you know, to have his love story. This is, as we've talked about in some other episodes um, on Shared News, sort of following the arc of the books. Each book focuses on a Bridgerton child, and it looks like the series is going to follow suit and do the same. Mariah, are you excited about this? When I first heard this, I was like, but wait, what about Daphne and Simon? I want more Daphne and Simon. Good news is they obviously will be involved, but Anthony is going to be center stage. How do we feel about this? I'm just excited for season two in general. I feel like though the first season was very centered on Daphne and the Duke, we still got to see a lot of other character stories. So I'm not, I'm not worried. I think we're still going to get a lot of the juicy scenes that I think all of us were actually living for so i'm still <laughs> super super excited i'm gonna challenge myself to try and like space it out because i'm serious when i say like i watched it so quickly and it was over and i was like but now it's over and like i'll have to wait <laughs> who knows how long like six months to a year before season three so i'm gonna challenge myself to really just like keep it, keep my cool and space them out so then I can enjoy it a little longer. It's like not eating your food too fast. If you eat it too fast, you miss out on all the flavor. <laughs> That's kind of how yeah, I feel no. about Bridgerton. I'm totally with you because obviously, I mean, this is a crazy production, you know, feat for Netflix, you know, to take on. These are not shows, episodes that they can turn out super quickly because the costuming, mm -hmm. the sets, like we are going yeah. to have to wait season to season. That is just a part of this show. So I am with you. We've all got to be patient. Hopefully they turn around season two super fast. Uh, because listen, Kim Kardashian's watching now. We got to we gotta get this on Kim's yeah. timeline. We got <laughs> we gotta do it for Kim. Uh, you guys, on that note, we are all just going to be patiently waiting for season two from here out. But in the meantime, we want to know what you think of Kim's reactions. Do you relate to them? And of course, are you excited to see more Bridgerton? Let us know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so we can keep you 
updated as we learn more. As always, I am your host, Fiona Zaring. I'm joined by the wonderful Mariah Davis. If you want to come say hi, our social handles are on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.